Man, that sound is awful. Well, the sooner I finish investigating, the sooner I can... <sighs> finish my sleep. Can I see over the wall if I go up to the village elder's house? Nope, I can't. Still no visual of our new neighbors. Vaughn, I have a bad feeling. I hope you will be all right. What do you mean by that? Are you implying that you will be okay and I won't? The moment something bad happens, you're not gonna sacrifice me to save your skin, are you? I should push him off this cliff here and now. That is the sound of something hitting the wall from the outside. No, that was the sound of an elderly but evil man striking the ground after falling off a cliff. I did what I had to do. If the wall breaks, the mist will enter the village and the horrible Saru will come in. That reminds me, if the mist is airborne, what's stopping it from flowing over the wall and into our village? There's something out there. Something is striking the wall from the other side. I bet you that something is between 14 and 17 years old. Damn teenagers. Stealing their parents' double-barrel shotguns and shooting at our wall. Damn them! I sense it. I sense the presence of evil outside the wall. I hear you on that, Master Tetsu. Teenagers can be absolute monsters. Look at them! Why does everyone look so worried? I swear, Rimelm is a village full of cowards. Ixis, let the adults and me handle this, okay? Just go home and play your Final Fantasy X-2. I pray to the great Genesis tree that you fail to unlock the true ending of that game. It is very easy to miss. This wall has protected Rimelm from the mist for over ten years. Hopefully it will stay standing forever. Forever is a lot to ask for, village elder, sir. We don't have a lifetime warranty for that thing. Ah, uh, quite impressive. Look how many puny humans survive. Okay, that does not sound like a teenager. Or like the parent of a teenager. Or like a human, for that matter. What? What on earth is that? Pitiful creatures, you humans. Living in fear of the mist, you scream at the sight of a Seru's shadow. Pathetic humans. Oh god, he's levitating. You're a Jedi who crossed over to the dark side, aren't you? Just our luck, a freaking Sith Lord moved into our neighborhood! In this desolate place, you thought this flimsy wall would protect you from the mist? Actually, I was skeptical from the start. I am Zito. I have come to bring the salvation of the myth, you miserable creatures. Give him hell, Master Tetsu! Oh. Well, f Humans, now is the time. Accept the mist. So I just soiled my s- I- I mean, my god. What is that smell? Damn it, Ixis! Did you have Taco Bell for dinner again? Play along, Ixis. I will mummify you, if that's what it takes to hide the truth. Damn, that blast radius! It was huge! Had I known that earlier, I wouldn't have pushed that crazy old man off the cliff. That giant Saru's atomic breath would have gotten to him anyway. Oh no! The accursed mist has entered Rimelm! Does anyone see a sign anywhere that says, Welcome to Silent Hill? It is time. Saru, followers of the mist, it is time for you to attack. 
Saru, destroy that old eyesore of a tree. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I spent most of the afternoon convincing everyone to pray to the Genesis tree on my behalf. To pray that I survive my first ever hunt. Without those prayers, I may never be heard from again. Save yourselves by accepting the serenity of the mist without resistance. You will not destroy the Genesis tree. You will not neutralize the prayers that I worked so hard to obtain. Uh, ow, ow! Oh, great Genesis tree, that hurts. You just gave me the worst paper cuts. They sting every time I flex my hands. So I'm gonna use my shoulder instead. only a recruiter from the NFL had witnessed what I just did, I could be a defensive lineman. Vaughn, the Saru in the mist are after the Genesis tree. I know, Master Tetsu. I want to fight, but as long as my paper cuts are sensitive, my hands are useless. I'll hold the Saru here. The rest of you, go somewhere safe. Uh... Safe? Maybe Dad knows something. So the wall is destroyed and the mist has come in. Yep. Mist itself is not harmful. You can even breathe in it. It is the Saru you must fear. I like what I'm hearing so far, Dad. It sounds like you know of a safe- If only there were some place safe for us. Place. Hey, so, does anyone here know of a safe place, preferably within walking distance? Ha ha ha, this is the end. It's all over. Everybody's going to die. <laughs> I said the exact same thing when I first started playing Dead Space 1. Sounds to me like you're enjoying it so far. That's what you're talking about, though. Right? Ixis, you should probably know that I'm a bit concerned about your dad's mental health. But while you're contemplating that, do you know of a place that's safe? Some place where I can ice down my paper cuts? Ixis? I... I didn't run away. I didn't run away from the hole in the wall. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ixis? I know you didn't, Ixis. You ran home because you got one too many stares after I made that Taco Bell comment. What the hell are you? My paper cuts, th they didn't hurt at all when I attacked you. You feel so cool and gel-like. You're clearly made of aloe vera which can help heal small cuts more quickly. No, wait! Come back, aloe vera! Give me more of your soothing and antimicrobial properties! I need them! Vaughn! They all went to check on the wall, but still haven't come back. So both ladies who were staying with you, left you all alone? Despite the fact that you lost your father recently? My faith in the human race just went down another notch. Fun. what happened? May, I know you soundproofed your walls to increase the value of your house, but did you really not hear that giant Godzilla sounding Saru blow a hole through the wall? Oh no. That means the Saru monsters will come into Rim Elm. That's May. The Saru are already in Rim Elm. 
Can't you hear the cries of anguish from our fellow villagers outside? Yeah, I can't either, actually. Wow, your walls really are soundproof. What should we do? Honestly, nothing. We now know that our new neighbor Zito is the noisy type, so just sit back and relax while the value of your soundproof house goes up and up and up. Oh, you're referring to the Seru in the Mist that's outside. Uh, tell you what, let's take you to my place where you won't be alone. Then you and I can talk more about property value while you watch me play some Dead Space 1. How does that sound? All right, take me to your house. May? I wholeheartedly understand how scared you must be right now, but if you take my hand, any one of them, and touch the many paper cuts that were given to me by that one Saru, my pain receptors are gonna go off, and I am gonna cry, which will no doubt grab the Saru's attention. We will then die, and you will never be able to sell your home for a profit. Can we buy a house together someday? So we should keep going? Nope, I still don't see that, um, welcome to Silent Hill sign anywhere. Okay, okay, good. Just, just making sure I'm just, we should keep moving. You did a good thing, Vaughn. May must have been uneasy all by herself. Yeah. No thanks to the two ladies who left her behind and never came back. We'll take care of her, they said. Ah, oh, but if my cursed body were not crippled like this. No, Dad. Don't feel guilty. Even if you were in top form to go out there and be a hero, those two ladies are probably dead by now, having paid for their tactlessness with their blood. I hope they survive, though, so that I can see the looks on their faces when I say, So, how does it feel to commit child abandonment? But anyway. The wall is broken, yet all we can do is huddle together in fear. If only there were some place safe for us. That's still a work in progress, Dad. Speaking of which, I'd better go. I'll keep Dead Space 1 on pause until I get back. Hey, Vaughn, the mist is here. Where do you think you're going? I am trying to find a safe place. Okay, according to Master Tetsu, it is apparently still a thing. Oh, so you're going to look for a place where we'll all be safe. That is so brave of you. Here, take this with you. Wow, this is enough healing leaves to feed me for an entire day. Each meal would be exactly the same, though. How about a gift card from Grubhub instead? Hey, guy, Mordor is to the southeast, actually. Just use Mount Doom as your landmark. You can't miss it. Oh! Um, are you leaving now? Uh, okay. Happy I can help. Grandpa and the other adults still haven't come back. I'm not gonna play games with you, kid. You can probably take advantage of your death benefit now. In the morning, if the wind changes direction, it will blow back the mist. But will we survive until then? Okay, is nobody gonna help me find a safe place? Am I the only one who's doing more than just contemplating our life expectancy? Hey guy, are you lost too? 
I already told your associate how to get to Mordor, but if you need directions too, then... Did you just... No. No, that won't do. In fact, scream your destination, because your journey ends here! By the grace of the Genesis tree, Sauron will never know your name. Huh. Speaking of the Genesis tree, I didn't notice until now that it's glowing. Oh god, is it radioactive now? Are we on the verge of a nuclear accident? Vaughn! I came here to get away from the Seru monsters. How are you feeling right now? Loss of appetite? Nausea? Vomiting? Oh, for- I'm not asking if you're pregnant! I'm asking you about signs of radiation poisoning! Hey, have you noticed that the mist doesn't come in here? The Genesis tree is glowing. It's radiating some kind of amazing power. Is it really radiating an amazing power? Or will our village become like Chernobyl soon? The Genesis tree is very warm. Vaughn, go ahead and touch it. Mm, should I really be doing this? I mean, she's not showing any symptoms of acute radiation syndrome, but that could change at any time. The same goes for me! I could already be dying and not know it! If I add May to my Roth IRA, will she like me? Vaughn! Is hearing voices in my head a sign of radiation poisoning? Vaughn! You are Vaughn, are you not? What is happening right now? I have read your thoughts. I am speaking to your mind. Okay, so you're either a Jedi or a Sith Lord. Which is it? I am Meta. A raw Seru. I have been waiting inside this Genesis tree for someone like you. That doesn't answer my que- Wait. You're a Seru? And a civil one at that? With the power of a Seru, a man could carry a stone larger than himself, run faster than a wolf. Does this mean... that I can wear you? I ask you, Vaughn. Do you wish to save your people from the mist? Yes. Well, most of them, but- Good. By combining our powers, we will rid the whole world of the mist. Meta, if I agree to this, does that mean that I can wear you like armor? Also, can you heal tiny wounds? Because these paper cuts of mine they're seriously restricting my fighting style and- Vaughn, open your mind. Feel my presence. Was that a yes? Let's go, baby. The approaching mist is killing the Genesis tree. We can't let that happen, Meta. If the Genesis tree dies, then all of the prayers that were made for my safety and well-being will go down with it. My first ever hunt is coming up soon, and I need those prayers to raise my odds of surviving it. But you knew all that, didn't you? Since you read my thoughts earlier. <laughs> to revive the Genesis tree, we need the power to change destiny. The power of the human spirit. Vaughn, hurry! Hurry and assemble everyone here! I had a feeling you'd come through for me, Meta. You will forever be my favorite piece of armor of all time. Screw the Spartan program. If they don't want to get back to me about their Mjolnir armor, then who needs them?
Why do you look offended? Vaughn, what's that on your right arm? That's... that's a Saru! Yup. If you enter the mist wearing a Saru, you will become a Saru monster! Relax. Meta is one of the cool ones. And together, we're gonna make this night peaceful again. Then I'll finally be able to finish my sleep. Do you see this? Attached to my arm? This, this is Meta. And he and I, we'd like to have a word with you. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, wait! Leave it to Meta to heal my paper cuts ever so quickly. My hands have never felt better. That's... Did that Saru enter the far plane just now? Show yourself, High Summoner Yuna. Oh my god. Meta, you enslaved him? <laughs> that is so savage! Meta, this is a moment of silence. Our poor Gimmerd, he just sacrificed himself for us and- Oh, he's still with us. So it's like Pokemon then? Hey, that's, that's a Saru. Stay away. Don't come near me. Ixis, that is the best thing you've ever said to me. If it means I no longer have to hear you talk, I will gladly stay away from you. Vaughn, what are you doing? That's the Saru! Take it off! Hurry! No. Besides, Meta goes well with my sleeveless cardigan. Oh no! How horrible! Now Vaughn has been attacked by the Saru. Hey, hey, hey! Meta attached himself to me with my consent. Not all Saru are brutes, you know. Fun, that's a Saru? How cool. Finally, someone open-minded. You are the future, little man. Oh, so it's a raw Saru, isn't it? Yes, village elder, sir. That makes Meta immune to the maddening effects of the mist. I don't understand, but I can tell that your words and the Saru do not lie. That's okay, sir. I'm pretty sure that what I just said was straightforward, but we'll just blame the Alzheimer's for your confusion. So let me... let me just... I'm gonna go talk to my dad now, so bye. Vaughn, what is that? That... that's a Saru. Okay, dad. Dad, his name is Meta, okay? Meta is a raw Saru, meaning that he's classier than the Saru outside. He healed my paper cuts and actually wants to help us. So it's a raw Saru. Yes, I do sense something gentle about this, Saru. See, Dad? May got the right idea. The situation is desperate. Our only hope now is your Saru and the Genesis Tree. First, we need everybody to gather around the Genesis Tree. Preferably without getting killed. Hi everybody, I'm Decobra, and I hope my humor helps make your day. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to hear from you.